and welcome to this tutorial. Let's uh, have a quick look at how to dedupe a data set. That is to uh, delete duplicate or unwanted duplicate uh, rows in your data set. Let's begin as always, clear up our environment. Uh, you can get your working directory or set your working directory. Let's take the hitters data set and also write it to CSV so we can open it up in Excel. And um, Let's open up in Excel in a second, for a second. And uh, if we go to Excel and uh, select the Remove Duplicates, we can select it, for example, let's do it on Home Runs and on Years. So 92 duplicate values found and 230 unique values remained of the data set, okay? Uh, same thing in R. Let's see what's going on here. So in base R, um, what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to take a subset of the data set, okay? And the subset contains the years and home run columns. So let's just have a look at that for a sec. Okay, so just these two columns. And now what I tell it to do is give me the not duplicated indexes of, these, uh, of this data set, of this new sub data set. And what I get by this is this uh, true-false uh, vector, which basically tells me this is not duplicated, not duplicated, not duplicated, etc., etc., duplicated, duplicated. And this is then passed on as which rows to, uh, which index rows to take out of the DF data set, okay? So I'm passing this to uh, DF here, which is the hitter's data set, to get all these rows and also all the columns uh, since I leave the what's after the apostrophe is blank. So if we look at that, we now get everything we need and we can put this in a new object. So this new object is going to have 230 um, uh, rows of 20 variables. Okay. Now, as always with R, there's uh, some package which, which does this uh, uh, with a, a more convenient uh, syntax. So let's have a look at how it's done in uh, DeepLear. And basically, we just take the uh, data frame and we uh, pass the years and home run to the distinct function. And notice this keep all equals true. Let's see what that does. So same thing, uh, 230 uh, rows and 20 variables. Let's delete the keep all true. And now what you get is simply only the rows, or sorry, only the columns that you basically ran the distinct on. So that's not what we want in this case. We want to keep our data set uh, only deduped. So this gets it back to what we need. Now. A nice little addition that you can do uh, very easily in R, and uh, it's much more difficult to uh, to do in Excel uh, because there's just no direct way to do it in Excel. Is a lot of times if you're deduping something, it's because a duplication uh, is an indication of a bug. Say something writes to the database, which uh, in the ETL process is not working properly, and uh, your unique index is not working. So if you want to take uh, uh, have a look at what's actually being duplicated it's very easy to do here it's this, the exact same command as here only instead of the not duplicated you pick duplicated and then you get the uh, sub data set of the 92 uh, duplicated um, objects so or rows uh, so I hope that's useful and um, make sure to uh, click on some more tutorials and subscribe Thanks.